Hey, it's the Chief, Bonding with Board Games. We're gonna be talking about Above and Below. It's a story-based game. Now, before I go much further, though, let me remind you, if you haven't seen any of my Scotch reviews, please go check it out at scotchtestdummies.com. And of course, we've got all the other stuff here with Bonding with Board Games. If you have not seen The Beauties and the Chief, go check out the one where we talk about Halloween games where Mickey has Cammie and I and herself dressed up as Harry Potter. Harry Potter, oh my goodness. Harry Potter, folks. I'm Mad Eye Moody and it's just funny. Let's so go check it out, but here we go. So above and below, story-based game. Um, I'll try to keep the glare off of this, all right. And I love story-based games when they work. So I will definitely be getting a review of this done. But first, the unboxing. All right, let me see. Gosh knows I've been having trouble getting the paper. All right. By the way, I wanted to say I ordered some extras of these. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll go sell them on eBay or whatever and just try to hopefully make some offsetting costs for me. And the company that did the shipping for Above and Below was horrible. They threw my uh, two other copies into, see if I can show you, they just threw them all into a big box, and I know that's not huge, but uh, one of them had, uh, well, I think this is the one with the worst dent. It just had this huge, these huge dents on the corner. There was nothing in this big box but three of these and two little pieces of paper. That would have done absolutely nothing. There was no peanuts, no preventive air bag, packets, nothing. So I only had one that was in pristine shape, so I'm hoping to be able to sell that, but mine's got a dent, little ding on it. Now, I don't mind the dings too much, but boy, I hate when there's that horrible packaging. So, I mean, just throw some peanuts in there or a few airbags. But that being said, I love this art style. Um, obviously, uh, shrinks in, so first time looking. Look at this gorgeous layout. Got a little player aid back here I was holding on to. Very nice. Let me see if I can keep glare off of it. We'll flip through. Hmm. Huge piece of dead space, but okay. Not sure what's going on there. Start the next round. Oh, well, maybe they just don't want you looking at the next stuff until it's time. Nice index. Very good. Player actions. Always good to have a little player aid laying around. And here we go. Expanded edition rules. Okay. Spiral Bound Encounter Book. I'm not gonna open this up. Well, let me see. Okay, basically, boom, encounters. I love this, paragraph style, go to the number, choose your own adventure kind of thing. I love, love, love. This reminds me a lot of my old war game, Ambush, where you would have an event happening, you would go to a certain number, read the thing, and then figure out what you're doing. Again, I'm not sure exactly how this works. But I love that. Very thick, nice card stock, nice backing on it. Looks good. So you got your player boards. All right. Let's see how thick these counter. Wow, okay, little 3D thing. Nice double-sided counters. These are typical quality you would expect. Everything seems real nice and they're punching out very easy. Uh, no fear of tearing, at least on that. That was an extremely easy punch out. All right, again, love all the characters. Everything looks really good. The shading on these is wonderful. So I'm gonna flip through these a little quicker, keep things moving. All right, boom, we get into the useless tray that's in here, but hey, whatever. We're holding some cards. Let's look at the bits here a little bit. Come on now. All right, what do we got? So we've got some real nice like feeple, fish meeples. What would that be, a feeple? So you've got some nice wooden shapes to it. Uh, no idea, it looks like uh, food, but we'll see. And purple and green. All right. We got some, I love when they round the dice off. Okay, when, they, when they're just perfectly square, it kills me. I feel like they don't roll enough. So these are some uh, dice that uh, are rounded. Hmm. And a few blocks, I would imagine this is for your little hoop over here. And let's take a look at some of these cards. I'm gonna cut for just a second so I can get these open without doing damage. All right, here we go. Card backs, 
again, I have no idea what the rules or what the layout is on these, but you can see they've got these other little ones floated in. Okay. And what are we looking at here? I can't wait to get a review of this done. So um, just showing you art at this point in time. I'm not even going to open that pack right now. But you can just see. Again, it's the same as that box art. Love it. <clears throat> Very unique style. Sorry, frog in my throat. And he, uh, he's able to really maintain it all the way through. Which if you've seen some of my reviews on the drawing games, I, I can't draw stick figures good. So this always amazes me. <laughs> and I'm not joking. My eight-year-old mocks me and I welcome it. All right. There we go. There's a look inside the box above and below. Chief, bonding with board games. Play games.